Hello guys, welcome to Realm of the Mad God with Painkiller and Casper. What's up, Steam names. And I'm pretty much making a walkthrough for this game. It's not it's an online game, but I'm not sure I can make a walkthrough for it, but I'm gonna be playing as the priest class and I'm gonna be showing anyone who's starting the game how to really play. I'm starting off fresh with a new character. I've played this game a lot, like ten hours or so. But pretty much you start off in a tutorial, but I'm in the Nexus now. Nexus is the main hub world of the game. Um and <laughs> um and pretty much there's worlds here. You can enter each one of them. Which world are you guys in? Um, we're in Oregon. Why are you in U.S. West? I'm in U.S. Midwest. Oh crap, hold on. Yeah, but you choose your server and choose your world. And then you pretty much go into this giant world with 85 people and explore. I'm playing as the priestess, which is the second class you unlock. Sorry about that in the bottom right. But, um, you go around and you do quests. Pretty much with priests, they can heal, so they're probably one of the best classes in the game, if not the best class, because I'm, I, that's the only class that I really Damn play. Because I've already unlocked every class but warrior, but archer, and huntress. And I think mystic, I'm um, not sure. I'm pretty sure I have mystic unlocked. If you guys get this game, wouldn't want to go in full screen, because it stuffs it up. Yeah, I'm not playing in full screen because it it sort of breaks the game. I'm not sure if you can hear Painkiller and Casper, but they're in the background. One of them is screaming. What's up, people? Casper's the one that sounds high, and Painkiller's the one that sounds younger than six. Shut up. <laughs> My name is Casper. Oh, Pretty much, priests do a lot of damage. There's painkiller. Priests do a lot of damage. They can heal, and that's pretty much the main reason why they're the best class in the game to me. They can heal. Oh, there's a staff. Wherever Casper may be. Casper's in US West. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do. You can, but pretty much right now. I'm trying to get up to level 20 so I can start killing the god bosses. It takes uh, like a good 30 minutes to get up to level 20, 30 minutes to an hour. But it, the bigger group you have, the faster it's going to go. So, I'm just going to go down here and kill this yeah, elf wizard. If you do get a couple of friends with you, uh, if they have friends on this, you might want to ask them if they want to start a train. Trains are really good. Um, they run along roads, and um, one guess, yeah. Kill one thing that you can do to level up quicker in this game is to get a few people. On is that him? Is that Casper? Nah. Oh His what? Name is I lost him. One one thing that you can do to get a lot of XP is if you can get enough people, just follow along a road, and you can get like groups of like 20 people to follow along the road you'll get massive amounts of XP because everything on the road will be killed you can get to level the max level which is 20 in about 10 minutes or so it's really fast but priests they use books and they use wands and they use robes and wands are weaker than staffs but they're still pretty strong they have really high range and they have pretty decent damage, but the main reason you want to play them is because they have healing. But once I in painkiller are just leveling here. None of these bosses are really hard at all. Oh god, I almost died. <laughs> I say they're not hard and I nearly die. But, uh -oh. the beginning bosses, everything up to level, like, 8 are easy. Then you start getting out to the harder areas. And the harder areas are still pretty easy. But, one, but after level 10, you don't want to do any of the quests. Because they all turn into god bosses. Or incredibly hard bosses. 
like Shreance, uh, some for example. After level 15, you start getting the god bosses, which are the highest level bosses in the game. You can TP to each other, kill stuff. And then there's the Drake right up here, though. Where's the Drake painkiller? Drake is a, uh, like a mini boss. If we can find one, yeah, I'll show it off. They have incre they drop some really good stuff for beginning. Yep. Oh god, I'm, uh, I'm gonna die. Where did you get a fire sword at? Um. Well, I killed the um, Drake and I dropped one. Fire swords are some of the better level, better uh, warrior equipment. I'm taking a lot of damage out here. Yeah, so I'll be fine though, I can heal. Just, take out the just uh, run from the other just, one. Um, Those black, black ball things. Destroyed. Um, they mm. don't give you anything, yeah. they're just really annoying. Those black ball things don't give you any XP, otherwise. Um, so, they're really not worth fighting. Anyone that guy has a really good staff. Or one. Uh, guy, I was just scrolling over. Where are you, painkiller? I can DP uh, to you. I'm just. Do you want a ring? Uh, I could use a ring. I could also use a robe. There's a robe. What? What ring do you want? Uh, I've got a ring of greater wisdom. Ring wisdom. Of speed, ring of Give me a wisdom ring. Ooh, that's a really nice ring for my level. There's another yeah. king up here if we want to fight that. Kings have some decent drops. Okay. I, I see a wasp queen, so I'll, I'll just follow you. I'll help you. Oh god, here it is. These guys have some decent drops. They're pretty rare, though. <laughs> uh, nothing good. I think that might be an uh, anaconda snake, whatever it is. Because there is a boss place here. Usually when you find temples like this, there's a mini boss who's semi-difficult, and then there's a chest in the middle. This chest's already been raided, though. There's, mostly, mostly there's another dwarf king movies. around the corner here. I know, I can see that. That's why there's just a whole bunch of crap. Die! Ah, oh, Spectre. Scepter. I'm not sure how you pronounce right. that. Here, yeah, let's keep going out. Leveling's pretty quick in this game, though. You can level to level 20 in about an hour, and that's the is the max level. But if you die, you lose everything you have, and you're pretty much have to restart from scratch unless you put stuff in your vault. Which, in order to put more than eight items inside your vault, you have to pay mo real money. So. Although I wonder if you can so make that transaction through start. Steam. That'd be nice. Yeah. On the game, you start off with um, a hundred dollars uh, um, for the game, but then later on, when you really want to buy stuff, um, you have to pay real money from PayPal or something. Or you can just use Steam yeah, transaction. I'm pretty sure you can. There's a sledge yeah. over here. We should go fight. Yeah. Oh Jesus! Hold on. Sledges are a bit different, or some of the harder enemies for my level. Help me, painkiller, where are you? Oh my god, there's like... Where are you? I could really use a warrior help right now. Um, There's like a few thousand things chasing me. Oh, we're about to be warped to the final boss area, too. We do not want to be warped there. Kill it, kill it before we get warped. Kill it before we get warped. Yeah, every, every 25,000 enemies killed in the world... It takes you to the Oryx's castle. I was not expecting this to happen. Yeah. Which is pretty much you have to be level 20 plus to beat because all the enemies here will one yeah. shot kill you. So, what you wanna do we're just going to sit back and get XP from the people who can kill them. Get XP. So we're just gonna, I'm just going to move up slowly and hope that everyone else can kill stuff. I'm pretty much being a massive leech here. 
But you can gain a few good levels here. Painkiller, get back. Oh god. Um, well, everybody's just getting owned. I'll heal last everybody. This happened, um, they got up to, like, the last boss. I know, I've, I've gotten all the way up to the last boss, but I died on my priest before. Mm. So yeah, there's this hail fire of shit flying out. If you get hit by the orange blob, I'm not sure if anyone just saw that, but if you get hit by that orange blob which just got dropped, I'm way up front, I should not be doing this. If you get hit by that orange blob, it, it gets rid of all your mana, so it pretty much screws over all the priests. Um, guys, when you do get this game, um, make sure to go into your options, which I think is, um, what key is it again? Uh, oh, it's the O key. You can set your, you can work yeah. to Nexus at any time, and if you're about to die yeah. when you're a higher level, you want to just oh bind God. it to something near your keys. Like, I have mine binded to E, so when I'm about to die, I'll, I'll yeah, go to Nexus so and heal up and then warp back. Yeah. But I think I've pretty much covered everything, so now it's just going to be talking about what's happening. Uh, instead of talking about anything else. This yeah. isn't my first time taking this, so because with Bev, I erased the file. Yeah. Bev is another person we might play with. I erased the entire file after recording a good 15 minutes. Hmm. You may have noticed the arrow above us. That's the warriors buffing us. I can heal everybody for XP here. I think heal healing doesn't give you XP. It's just there. I'm level 8 now. We might want to warp out soon because we might die. There's not many people left because everyone's yeah. dead. So... When we get up to the Stone Guardian, I guess we can leave. Or when we actually beat the final area, boss. Actually, no, we aren't going to beat the final area, boss, because everyone's dead. So. I think I'm going to record my death, and then just cut it into 15-minute segments and then upload it. That's hot. Because I want to continue playing. Oh god, that thing's chasing me down. Oh god, I almost died, I almost died. Healing. Healing. So guys, what you might want to do when you first start this and you really need healing, uh, when you find, find a priest, um, you might want to actually um, click on his name down on the bottom right. And, uh, lock his name. Yeah, if you didn't notice, you can click on people's names and lock them. That allows you to teleport to them or trade them at any time. So pretty much you can be a complete asshole and just lock a priest and then go to them at any time and steal all their loot. Yep. <laughs> like I do most of the times, so, um, I actually trade people and, um, say I'll give you one of my swords. And so, they put stuff in, um, they click the trade button, and then I click mine. I don't give them anything. Then, yeah. Uh, uh, I need those mana put, oh. Yeah. Uh, I think we should leave soon, uh, once I hit level 10. I'm good. Because it gets way too yeah, hectic here. Die. I would get back, painkiller. You're gonna die. Yeah, I'm healing everybody, though. I'm the I'm. There's four priests here, so. I guess they're okay, but I want to see how far I can last until I'm level ten at least. It keeps on quieting me for all my mana, which sucks, because I can't heal anymore. I died. Yeah, that's how risky that is. That's nice. Get to restart and do all that all over. How nice. Yep. Wow. Here, yeah. I'm just going to end it and then get back up to level 10. Because that was incredibly gay and that's why I hate going there. See you guys. So, yeah.